This question says, are prosthetic limbs considered awr? What is that? <laughs> ah, this is the one, the one that is not real. Yeah, that's because it's not real. But if it is placed in the in the what do you call in the in the woman, you are not allowed to look completely right. So whether she has the fake one, the good one, nobody says if a woman wears hijab, you can look at her. That's one of the deficiencies of the people nowadays. Okay, she wears hijab. Why? What's wrong with that? Who told you that only the face is attractive to the people? Somebody was right when he says everything in a woman is attractive to the man. Is that true? It's true. Because if you don't get it attractive, somebody is willing to die for it. See, you see, that's why Islam says just don't look. Because they said sometimes you will see something that you cannot be patient and will disturb you. You know what I'm talking about, right? It will stay for ages. The pictures and the images will never be removed. I told you about the brother, this is a friend of mine who saved a woman from death. This is death, right? But he told me, he said, Wallahi, if he sees a woman afterward who is about to die, he will never touch her. He would rather see her dying, rather, I mean, instead of touching. I told him, Ya Akhi, this is haram. To save her life is better to do everything with her and then save her life to live. That's greater than the sin that is going to be committed by you and her. But her life should be saved. Because it's sacred. And you cannot apply this. But he told me why. Although I still hold my opinion because this is based on the Nusus. You cannot see a woman dying just like that. You have to save her. Do you get the idea? But what did he say? He said, I save her in Hajj during the Ramil Jamarat where people always die. I saw her going to be stepped by who? By people. So he stepped in, he brought her up. He said, Wallahi, I never see something that disturbed me. You see, he was saving a life, but Shaitan knows how to play. To get an idea, he said, I touched something that I never imagined in my life, so it kept on disturbing me for ages. Every time the images will come, the pictures will come, and all of these things. If Shaitan doesn't leave you in this moment, what do you think in the normal circumstances Shaitan will do? Is that clear? So we have to be very, very, very careful with this. Uh, when Islam says this, when the woman wears something, if the gold is just in the marketplace, you look at it in the way you want. But when it is on a sister, you cannot look at it anymore. Because who become more beautiful? The gold or the sister when she wears the gold? Or the gold became more beautiful when the sister uses it? Uh, then do mujamala. <laughs> Which one is the correct answer? The sister became more beautiful with the gold, all the gold became more beautiful with her. Whatever you say, I will take the, the second one. The scholars sometimes when they finish the book, they say this book is so excellent. In such a way it could be described as a gold when it is placed on a sister. Who gets more beautiful? The gold becomes beautiful because she used it. That's what they say. You get it, Shams? <laughs> Yeah, last minute I guide us. So I, what I'm saying is, when she wears it, can you look at the gold? No. I'm just trying to talk about the attachment that she has. She has a fake leg, she has this and that. You just don't have to look at it. Unless she, if she's a relative or a wife. Yeah. Allah guide us to the truth. Yeah. And how do you look at that part and you neglect the other part? You close your eyes like Imam Shafi. Just focus on this. <laughs>